So a question I get all the time from women is why won't men approach women? What is the problem? They will look, they will observe, but they don't seem to take any further action. So what is it? And not just why aren't they approaching women, but why aren't they approaching you? Well, I have the answer. My name is Stefan Labossier, AKA Stefan Speaks, back with another relationship and dating advice video for women. And today we're gonna to be talking about why men don't approach you, all right? Now, be sure to like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button, and leave your comments below. Why do you think men are struggling to approach you? Now, let me just give this quick disclaimer. Do not <laughs> allow yourself to be triggered, all right? Or do not, don't, don't take this as a t an attack with some of the things I'm going to explain. Now, there are gonna be some things that are about you, the woman, and there are going to be some things that are, that are about men, all right, and their, their issues or concerns or whatever the case may be. Either way, have an open mind. Listen, because the goal is to help you, to help you increase the chances of getting the results that you desire and to avoid the ones that you do not, do not want. So to get to it, number one reason why men don't approach you is because you look mean. Now listen, I tell women all the time whenever I'm on tour, I'm like, yo, I go to all these different cities, I walk around and see all these wonderful, beautiful, amazing women mean mugging all day, every day, just with a scowl on their face. And for those of you who don't know what mean mugging mean, let's just say resting bitch face. Excuse my language, but that's the term, resting bitch face, all right? And I know some of y'all know what I'm talking about, if not all of you by this point. And so here's my thing, if you are using the resting B face to keep the men away, cool. If you're using it because you just don't want to be bothered, cool. But when you use it and then you come to me and say, why aren't men approaching me? What are you doing? Like at that point, you need to change that. Like it, you, they're not approaching because you look mean and difficult and too much to deal with, all right? And so, I know some of you might be saying, well, I can't help it. It's just how my face is how I am. Listen, let me say this. When you, well, let me backtrack a little bit. Number one, the quick way to fix this is simply smiling. Now, I know some of y'all do not like to be told that you need to smile, okay? I get it. I understand that can be a delicate or, or very sensitive topic for some of you. But again, if you want to increase the chances of being approached, whether that be in general or by a specific man, then you've got to smile. That will always make you more invitable, more approachable. That will definitely at least give, increase the chances of him being willing to take that next step. Now, I am not saying walk around like Homie the Clown with a big old smile on your face, for those of you who remember who Homie the Clown was. But anyways, you don't need to do that, but at the very least, do it when you see a guy that you like, all right? Do it when you're in an environment where you do want to engage with people and create more opportunities for yourself. So it's important that you understand how your energy and how you're looking will play into a man's willingness to approach you. Now, I think it's very important to, to make this next statement. Some of you may say, well, I've, I've had resting B face or I've seen other women with it and still get approached. And yes, there's various factors that can tilt the scale in one way or the other as far as a man's willingness to do it despite how you're looking or how your face is being presented. However, I do want you to be aware that men who only want sex are not deterred by your face or they're less deterred, all right? So you'll notice in a lot of situations where the men who are approaching are not the well-intentioned men, not the men looking for something serious. Because the good guy, the guy who wants a genuine relationship, number one, he's going to put more weight on your energy. If your energy is not positive and you're looking mean, he's going to view you as not a viable candidate for someone he wants a relationship with, all right? And then number two, out of genuine just respect, if you're looking mean, you're looking like you don't want to be bothered, why would the guy with good intention want to invade your space? Out of respect, he's going to let you be and not say anything. All right. Whereas the guy who's simply lusting after you, who has ill intention, who's looking at what he desires out of the situation, 
he's much more willing to move past that. So understand how it does play into the man's willingness to approach or not and ask yourself, okay, how can you smile more? And for those of you who do say, going back to what we're talking about, well, you just don't smile, it's just your face, all this stuff. I always say, when you're truly happy from within, smiling comes naturally, all right? So if you struggle with smiling, chances are you are not at peace from within. I'm sorry, but that's just a reality with it. And so, again, be mindful and be more aware of your energy. Even me, quick example, and we'll move on to number two. When I come out the gym sometimes, I realize, hell, when I'm even in the gym, I've had people tell me they didn't approach me that recognized me because I look too mean, all right? And when I'm walking around in my neighborhood, I sometimes have that same energy and I've had to be become more aware, catch myself and loosen up. And even though as a man, it probably doesn't work as against me as it would a woman, it still can create blockage from people being willing to approach me, um, from, you know, just being able to engage with individuals, so on and so forth. And, it's, and also, we don't realize that when we're having that mean face, we're holding on to that negative energy that, that creates that mean face. And so re releasing it, relaxing ourselves is good for our own health as well. So anyways, number one, you look mean, start smiling some more. Second reason why men don't approach you, and before I get the second reason, real quick, the man God has for you, get your copy, best-selling book, women are going crazy over it. That's not an exaggeration. It has thousands of reviews. Click the link in the description or in the comment section. You are going to love this book. Now, number two is he's shy. So I think th as much as we know this <laughs> as people, we seem to dismiss this a lot when it comes to men, as if men are not allowed to be shy, all right? And so, and, and please understand, shy as well as they struggle when it comes to approaching women. Now, I'm going to be very transparent. I am a guy who throughout my life, have not been much of an approacher, all right? I'm not necessarily shy in the sense that if you put me in a room with people, I can talk to them. If we get into a conversation, I can be very social and open. I'm, I'm an open book. However, I've always had this blockage when it comes to approaching because it was never comfortable for me to just create random conversation. That was never my strong suit and one of my skills. And for me, I'm much more of an observer. I kind of sit back and I wait. And so I'm explaining that to you to, to help you understand that there are some men that, yes, they could be interested, they, that you could catch their eye, but they may not be the best or have gotten comfortable with approaching. Now, of course, this isn't your issue. You can't do anything about that. I'm just explaining why sometimes it goes down the way that it does. But also, there are men who are just flat out shy. And, and the reality is that shyness stems from a lot of lack of confidence, you know, and a lot of men may not have the confidence in approaching you specifically for whatever reasons and some of the reasons we're going to mention later on this list. But bottom line is that lack of confidence or just in general lack of confidence uh, causes a struggle for them to approach you. So they may look, they may observe, but they're not going to say anything, which is why though you cannot control his shyness, though it is not your responsibility to make him approach you, so to speak. If you do want to increase your chances, that's why things like smiling and some of the things I'm going to mention really soon will at least give him more of a, a willingness to take that next step. Because as I just said, a lot of shyness stems from lack of confidence. But if you now show certain desire or interest in very effective ways, then it can, it can give him the confidence, specifically in that situation, to be willing to move past his shyness and now approach you if he catches your interest as well. But that is another reason shyness, plain and simple, it happens to a lot of people. The next on the list, number three reason why men don't approach you or why he did not approach you is because you were with other people or a group of women. Now, here's the thing especially when you're with a group of women, all right? Really, it's just people in general. The thing that you have to understand is nobody wants to be rejected in front of an audience, all right? So the man seeing that you have other people with you, number one, trying to 
interject in that situation because you may be converse, having a conversation with some of these individuals, engage with them some way, shape, or form. And so that creates less of an opening for a man to feel comfortable coming to you. But as I said, no one wants to be rejected in front of an audience. So it becomes an even scarier situation when they have to approach you and make their attempt in front of other people. So here's a tip, and this is more specifically when maybe you're out. And I know right now with pandemic going on, there's not a lot of going out. But once you get back to a place where you're going out, all right, if you are out with friends and you see a man that catches your interest or you simply want to create a greater opportunity for a random man to come to you, separate from the pack, all right? Go to the bar by yourself. Maybe go to the bathroom by yourself. It's safe. You're, if you're in a place where you can be safe, because I understand that for safety reasons, women want to take a friend with them. I get that. But if you are in a place where it is safe, all right, and you don't have to concern yourself with that, create some moments where you isolate yourself from the pack, even for a few minutes. Because I can tell you this, if that man is interested and he's been paying attention to you, the minute he sees that opening, because you're by yourself now, he's going in. Plain and simple, all right? So you, again, nothing is guaranteed. You know, I, I can't say 100% it'll happen, but what I can say with confidence is that you will increase the chances of it happening, all right? But again, to get back to the main point, when you're in a group of people, that's definitely going to hinder a man's willingness and ability to approach you, create conversation. So you either got to separate from the pack or you may in that instance take more of an initiative. And when I say take an initiative, I don't mean you got to chase any man. I don't mean you technically got to pursue him, even though I guess you can play with that word a little bit. But the point is you can start, get the ball rolling. You can maybe make a, give him a compliment, you know, say something that shows, invites him into a conversation with you. Now he may feel more comfortable despite who's around you. So just consider that if, again, you want to have more opportunities and make it easier for men to approach you. Number four, very plain and simple, he's in a relationship. So now the reason why I felt it was very important for me to mention this on the list is because I see so many women who internalize when men aren't approaching, all right, or when a specific man didn't approach because we don't know Who's, who's in what situation. And so I think it's important to understand that, listen, there's going to be times where a man looks at you, um, stares you down, you know, it looks like he's interested, you might be interested too, and he doesn't do anything about it simply because what you don't know is he has a woman at home, all right? And thank God he is not taking uh, any initiative or moving forward. Now, some of you may be saying, why the hell is he looking if he got a woman? Listen, He's a human being, and if he's out and about by himself, it's very normal. That might be the only chance he has to look at women, all right? Because when he's with his girl, he can't do it. He can't do it at all. So now, yes, he may be taking, uh, uh, taking advantage of his alone time and enjoying the scenery, all right? And he would love to deep inside, maybe even engage with you just because, but he's trying to do the right thing and not approach. And so again, this is just a reminder to understand that don't, don't be offended, don't take it the wrong way, don't internalize it. Um, just understand that, yes, yeah, sometimes we don't know people's situations. It could be girlfriend, it could be wife, it could be they're seriously dating somebody. There's various reasons why a man doesn't take advantage of the moment or doesn't use that moment to approach you because he simply can't and he's trying to respect the situation that he's currently in. All right, so now let's get to number five. And number five is you're not making any eye contact. So listen, this one is near and dear to my heart because <laughs> what I've noticed, let me just say, I, where I live, I get to walk outside a lot, all right? And I walk in, in an area where other people are there. It's a, it's a place with all types of stuff. Anyways, the point is, because I get to walk a lot and pass by a lot of people, I get to observe the mannerisms of a lot of women and, and how they are carrying themselves when they're walking about and, and when they see other people. Now me, when I'm walking, 
I don't care if you're a man or woman, I'll make eye contact, say hello, good day, all that kind of stuff. But I notice so many women not even making eye contact. But here's the crazy thing. Again, if you're not making eye contact because you generally don't have interest, then by all means, continue as you are. It would be ridiculous of me to expect you to make eye contact when you have no interest. And I completely understand the argument that even for the sake of just being friendly and saying hello, you're cautious because you don't want to open the door to a man who you're not interested in thinking he can now come talk to you. So again, I get it. I get why so many women don't want to make eye contact. However, the crazy part is there are times where some of y'all are, are, are interested, have seen a man that does catch your eye, and you still won't look at him. You still avoid any eye contact. I know of situations, all right, where women were deep inside going crazy, like, oh my gosh, look at this man. That's what they're saying to themselves inside, but on the outside, showing no interest, no eye contact, no nothing. And then you wonder why you're not getting any opportunities. <laughs> you, you wonder why you're not getting a chance to meet guys who actually catch your interest. Listen, eye contact is very important and very powerful if we want to create the opportunity to engage with someone. So it's important that you understand, again, in the scenarios where you want to be approached, in the scenarios where men have caught your interest, have caught your eye, be willing to make eye contact. But let me go a little bit further than that because some of y'all want to look, then look the other way, right? Y'all want to do that quick glance. That doesn't really fully convey if you are actually interested. And so the goal of the eye contact is not just to make it, but to convey interest. So you want to hold the gaze at least for a few seconds, all right? I know that's hard. I'm not telling you to count seconds in your head, but get comfortable with looking and looking, like holding it, all right? And making sure he sees you're looking. Then you can turn your head, all right? Now, again, does it guarantee he will approach you? No, because we don't know if he's interested. We don't know if he has a girlfriend. We don't know what's going on, but it will increase the chances. I remember one time I spoke at an event and it was at a lounge and I went to the bathroom and as I come out the bathroom, the bartender who was a woman stares at me and she holds the gaze, I wanna say a good five seconds. Like there was no way for me not to know she was looking at me. And granted, I went and got that number. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was just too obvious. She looked good. I was like, why not? Now clearly that hasn't worked out. That was many years ago. But the point is, it worked. She got what she wanted. I approached her, we talked, we exchanged numbers because she gave that strong, clear eye contact. So highly, highly consider that. All right, so now number six, and I kind of alluded to this earlier, but I'm gonna repeat it again, all right? He doesn't see an opening to create conversation. So, you know, when it comes to approaching a woman, you know, it, it's not easy to just step to her and not have anything to say. Granted, you know, he could come with the, hey, what's your name? you know, blah, blah, blah. But uh, men are catching on to the fact that to be more effective in the approach, you want to create conversation. You want to use the environment to maybe pick something out that you guys can then build a conversation on top of. So it's almost like if you were at an art uh, museum and you're looking at art, that's a perfect way to create conversation because now you can discuss the art. You know what I'm saying? If you're at a store and you're looking at, I don't know, you're at the grocery store and you're in the cereal line, it's easier to then say, hey, you know what? What kind of cereal do you like? You know, that creates opportunities. But in general, if the man doesn't have that, he struggles then to figure out how do I angle this? How do I step to the woman? And so again, as a woman, this is where creating an opportunity, but not just in, in the sense of the environment where he can then piggyback off of something, but again, being, not being in a pack of women, you know, um, making eye contact, being approachable, smiling, all of these things contribute to him seeing an angle to where now he can create conversation with you. And so it's, it's very smart as a woman 
to just be mindful of all those things we've talked about so far on this list. And again, or, or being willing to start conversation. And let me make this very clear because I know a lot of women are just hesitant when it comes to approaching a man. They, they feel like, well, that's chasing. Why should a woman have to do that? Listen, I'm not telling you to get a man, ask the man for his number. I'm not telling you to ask him on a date. What I'm simply saying is, getting the ball rolling with conversation. And then from there, it will be on him to take that opportunity and turn it into, well, let's exchange numbers, let's go on a date, whatever the case may be. You don't have to chase, you don't have to drive the situation, but if you do wanna increase your chances of being approached, of meeting men, of finding of a great relationship, be open to starting conversation. And there is a study, I wish I had it with me for this video, but there is a study that shows that women who are now more willing to approach, again, simply approach, create conversation, are having more success. They're getting more numbers or they're being able to meet more men and it's actually materializing into something. And, and also understand this, because men are so accustomed to not getting that, that opening to where a woman will create conversation, when a woman does and there is a mutual attraction that that really plays well. Like I think some women think, well, well, some of these men they'll be turned off by it. No, they won't. People aren't. People are only turned off when people they don't want approach them. All right. Same thing happens to women. When men you don't like approach you or DM you, that's when it's that thirsty. They're annoying. They're all that. But if he's a guy you actually have interest in, oh, he's so sweet. That was so nice of him. You know, you will find a way to paint his actions in a more positive light. So the same thing happens with men. I don't know if I've ever met a man, I've never met a man, flat out, who has had a woman initiate conversation with him that he actually was interested in or was attracted to and took issue with that. Or looked at her in a negative light because she initiated conversation or she created an environment where he could approach her easily. That doesn't happen like that, all right? So do not be afraid and, and I know everyone's afraid of rejection, but it's not even about rejection. It's just about having a conversation. And sometimes we have to go into it with the mindset of practicing this method, as well as just meeting people for the sake of meeting people, just having an experience. It doesn't have to always end up in a successful exchange of numbers. Maybe it's just a good conversation for that day that you learn something and you keep it moving, but be open to that. But definitely, him not being able to see an angle to talk to you will definitely play a role in his willingness to approach you. All right, and now before we get to number seven, one more time, get your copy of The Man God Has For You. Click the link in the description or in the comments section. It will be an amazing read for you. Trust me, women are loving it. Now, let's get to number seven. Number seven reason why men do not approach you is because you look too expensive or too much. <laughs> now, you see I'm laughing, but no, this is a real thing, all right? This is a real thing. Now, let me make something very clear. If you look too expensive, simply by the way you carry yourself, I am not gonna tell you to dumb yourself down to make him feel like he can approach you. That's not necessary. But you will notice, and I know some of you have seen this or experienced this, where you could go out dressed up looking like money, and barely no one saying anything to you. Then the next day, you can go out in sweatpants, hair tied up, looking a hot damn mess to yourself. That's how you view yourself at that moment, maybe. And yet, men are approaching you. Gas station, grocery store, whatever. Because yes, the though beauty, of course, plays a role in a man's willingness to approach you, that, that persona of, man, she has high taste, so it's, it's expensive, can be too much for certain men to handle. And, and can deter them because they may not feel like they're on the level uh, that is, is someone that you're gonna be willing to deal with or entertain, all right? So if you're looking too expensive, again, I can't tell you in good conscience to change that if that's just who you are. Because if anything, you want to, you want to show and project your true self so that the man who can embrace that will be willing to approach that. Because though you may be too expensive to this, those men, there are gonna be a man who that's exactly what their taste is, all right? And if that's the kind of guy that you like, then you're good there. But the second part of this is you look too much to handle, all right? 
So this is a little bit different because let's, let's put the expensive part to the side, all right? Let's even put the beauty to the side because there are some men who will be afraid to approach the very beautiful woman. And that can happen where you being very beautiful can actually sometimes be very intimidating. However, when I say too much to handle, I mean you look difficult. This is going back to being mean. This is going to the point of you are exuding a lot of masculine energy. Now, again, it's important to note that men who are not looking for anything serious are not deterred by you projecting a lot of masculine energy by you looking too difficult. There are some, I feel the need to say this, there are some who are even turned on by it because that too difficult vibe, that even masculine vibe, to some people that translates very well in the bedroom, okay? They view it as, you know, you, you might be down for some things that they, 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 they like. So it won't deter the man looking for casual relationships, casual sex, so on and so forth. However, the man who is looking for something more serious, the man who has genuine intentions, he is gonna be more deterred by you coming across as too much difficult, overly masculine. So you do, that is a situation where yes, you have to be mindful of the energy that you are projecting when you are out and about because that plays heavily in a man's willingness to approach you and more specifically in the kind of man and, and the kind of quality man that you desire to approach you. So be mindful of that. So you don't have to change the too expensive part, but you do have to address the looking too difficult part, all right? Number eight is He's not interested enough, all right? So let me break this down a little bit. There are times where men are going to see you, find you very attractive, and there's a part of them that would be open to talking to you, but they're not interested enough to want to act on it. And so I'm mentioning this because, again, this kind of plays into some of the dilemmas or situations where the man looks at you, but he's not doing anything about it. And you're like, what the hell's the problem? Now, if you are covering all the bases, you're not mean mugging or resting bitch face, you're, you're, you're not looking difficult, you, you are creating an environment that he can approach, all these things, you, you're making sure your bases are covered. And yet he still does not take initiative. Then of course, as we mentioned, he could be in a relationship, but he also could just not be interested enough. And again, that's not something to take personally or internalize. Because I'm sure there have been times where you have seen a man that may have caught your eye, but again, it wasn't enough to want to do anything about it, all right? And sometimes that can also be based on how you're feeling in the moment. Sometimes we're having a bad day. We don't feel like dealing with anything. We see someone that catches our interest, but we're not in the right mi mindset or mood to have to deal with engaging and trying to see if we can approach this person and make something work, all right? So there's, and again, this is just an explanation that I felt I should give so that you understand the full spectrum of what's going on with why some men don't do it uh, and why some men sometimes will seem like they're interested, but still not taking any further. And again, it's because he just may feel like, yeah, she cool, I think she looks good, but uh, nah. But here's the crazy part, and I'm not saying you should do this, I'm just saying be, be mindful of this. Sometimes when the guy's on the fence, if you are the one who now initiates conversation and kind of pushes the situation along, he will go along with it. And this is why you have to be careful and why I tell you that it's not up to you to drive the situation. Because there are some circumstances where if it was up to him, he would not push the situation further. But if you do it, he will go along with it. And unfortunately, to some people that might be like, well, still mission accomplished, wrong. Because the problem is he's not, he's not invested enough or have enough desire for this to materialize into something positive and good. This may turn to a situation where you talk to him and now his communication is inconsistent. He doesn't seem as present. You know, you're not going to get the full quality of him or the full effort of him because he was never really all the way there. And some of you may have experienced that where, again, you were the one who drove the situation and then you find yourself like, well, why is he not making more of an effort? If he really wanted to make an effort, he would have made more of an effort from the beginning. You wouldn't have had to drive it. Yeah, again, don't confuse that with initiating conversation 
and creating an opportunity. It's just about how far would he have taken it if it was simply up to him. So be careful with that. And that's why I say you don't need to ask the man on a date or anything. If you, if you want to, that's on you. But I'm just laying out for you what you need to be mindful of and prepare yourself for and understand in dynamics like that. And then last but not least, the seventh or ninth reason, I'm sorry, <laughs> ninth reason why he is not approaching you, why men do not approach you, is because you're simply not showing enough interest, all right? And so again, that kind of encompasses all that we're talking about here. The reality is that men want a green light, all right? In today's world, we have to understand I'll hear women complain about men un men's unwillingness to approach, but they don't understand that there's other women who complain about how many men are constantly approaching them. Why can't men just leave us alone, give us our space? This conflicting message can create, can, can, can make it harder for a lot of men to know when it truly is okay and not okay to approach. Because now you have to, you have to figure out, is she really open to it and willing to engage. So now if you don't show any interest, he has nothing to go off of. And now he's just shooting at the, you know, shooting darts blind. I don't know how the saying goes. Scratch that. The point is, <laughs> the point is he, he's just taking a wild guess. All right, there you go. He's taking a wild guess at if this will actually work or not. But if you would simply show interest, smiling, eye contact. And again, if you, if you really want to be good at this, you put them all together. You smile and you show the, and do the eye contact and hold the gaze for at least three seconds. You know what I'm saying? Like you do that. You do all these different things. Maybe you also give a compliment. Compliments can go a long way to showing interest and opening the door for a man to actually push the conversation forward and now try to get to know you better. So just be mindful of that. Are you showing any interest? Because he has his concerns too. All right, and you want to at least give him the green light. That's all. Just give him the green light that says, yes, we're open for business. Come through. Let's talk. And then from there, he'll have to leave the situation carrying it from there. All right. And again, one more thing. Remember, if you don't want to be approached, none of this matters. <laughs> all right. You don't have to do a damn thing you don't want to do. But if you want to be approached or if the fact that men are not approaching you is bothering you, then yes, be mindful of these things. Of course, there's a lot more we can talk about that plays into a guy, uh, a guy finding you attractive or being interested. But for the most part, these things will play a huge role in either increasing your chances or decreasing them. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here. And I'll see you there. A high quality woman deserves a high quality man. So if you're that woman, and I believe you are, then continue to watch because I'm going to explain to you the habits or traits that high quality men are attracted to.